Okay, yesterday evening I received an email from Terminotix about a must-have free tool for translators. And since I'm a sucker for freebies, I decided to give it a try. If you're not familiar with uh, Terminotix, it's the Canadian company behind uh, Align Factory, among other programs, which is an excellent uh, alignment tool, one of the very best uh, available on the market. So they just released uh, this new tool, which gives translators access to a number of resources, which are listed here. And uh, at the end of the message, there's a link to the template that you can download. So it's a template for Microsoft Word 27 and 2010. It only works on Windows, not on Mac. So what I did, I downloaded that template and I installed it. It was very easy. You basically only have to double click it. And what I got was this. So I have a new tab in uh, Word, which is labeled Terminotix. If I click on this tab, I will see a number of cute little icons here. And one thing that uh, I should uh, mention is that uh, you have to make sure that in File, Options, and Trust Center, and Trust Center Settings, you have enabled all macros, otherwise uh, the new toolbar will not work. And by default, in Word, you have uh, uh, macros are disabled. And if you are using WordFast, you may have this option selected, ex uh, disable all macros except digitally signed macros, but it will not work with Terminotix. So you have to use this one, which is less secure. OK. And OK. And once you have done that, uh, you are able to use the software. So the first icon is the setup icon. I will click it now. And here you can specify uh, your language pairs, for instance, in Collins, whether you want to use uh, English French or French English or English German and so on. Uh, same with Termium, so whether you want your search keys to be English or French or Spanish and so on. As you can see, it's uh, very much focused on English and French, uh, not surprising since uh, Terminotix is a Canadian company, but uh, for resources such as Taos and uh, the Microsoft Language Portal, you also have a number of other languages because these tools are not restricted just to English and French. But overall, it's uh, still mostly English, French, and maybe a little bit Spanish as well. I click on OK. And now let's see how this uh, new toolbar works in practice. I can select a word like bailout and uh, let's see what Termium has to offer for it. So I click on the Termium icon and I will get some res results here. So I can see in French bailout would be renflouage, renflouement, sauvetage or aide financière. I can close this and move to the next search. So let's say European Stability Mechanism. I want to see what uh, IATE, the European Term Bank, has to offer for this. And here are the results. So I can see it's uh, Mechanisme Européen de Stabilité in French. And again, I can close it and I can look for, let's say, a word like strenuous. I want to see what Collins has to offer for it. So in Collins, it's uh, Éprouvant Énergique, or I can also ask uh, Larousse. And here you see this uh, nagging screen. Uh, although they told you in the email that, uh, that the toolbar is free, uh, in fact, they would very much like you to contribute for some money. So they are asking you for about $30. I don't know if it, they are Canadian or US, but anyway, that's the price they would like you to pay. So I have to click here to continue and I can see what uh, Larousse has to offer. So it's a little bit, uh, uh, there are more results now. I know that it's, it can be ardu, acharné, vigoureux, zélé, and so on. It's also possible to perform coconut search for instance, if I'm interested in 
pump more money, I can look in Lingui, what Lingui has to offer. And so I can see here, injecter davantage d'argent, injecter encore plus d'argent, and so on. If you are familiar with uh, IntelliWeb Search, another free tool that works in a very similar way, you will see that, uh, in fact, all that I just did now with the new Terminotix toolbar, I could have done it with IntelliWeb Search as well. So, for instance, if I go back to my bailout, I can call the IntelliWeb Search pop-up window with my shortcut, which is Control alt f like this. And here I can uh, select Termium, like I did with uh, the Terminotix toolbar, and I see the same results. And I can also perform a search for European Stability Mechanism. And again, here, this time I will use the, this button. So it's not as cute as these little icons on the toolbar, but it works otherwise just the same. So here I will see my results and I can go back and again I can perform a search on pump more money and I will use Lingui and uh, again I get this. One advantage of um, uh, Intel Web Search is that in the case of sites that have advertising such as Lingui, if you use a browser like me, Firefox or Waterfox here, and the Adblock extension, uh, you will not have to see these uh, disturbing ads. Whereas in uh, with the Terminotix toolbar, if I go to Lingui, I will see uh, this ads on the bottom and on the right of the window, which I personally find disturbing. So that's one advantage of Intel Web Search. Another advantage is that uh, you do not have to close the window that you just opened. You still have your results uh, displayed in a separate tab of your browser and you can go back to Word and back to your browser and uh, that this is not possible with uh, the Terminotix toolbar. You always have to close the window that you just opened. Another advantage of uh, Intel Web Search is that if you use a separate CAT tool like MemoQ here, uh, you can also uh, use it. So for instance, if I want in MemoQ to search for pump more money, I can call the Intel Web Search pop-up like this and start my search in Lingui. And this is not possible with the uh, Terminotix toolbar, which only works in Microsoft Word. So in a nutshell, the new Terminotix toolbar is nice for translators who work mostly with uh, English and French, perhaps Spanish as well and who work uh, in Microsoft Word, whether with a CAT tool like uh, WordFast Classic or Metatexis, or directly uh, in Word documents without a CAT tool. Whereas uh, Intel Web Search is uh, suitable for translators who have any language pairs and who also work with other uh, tools such as MemoQ or Deja Vu or SDL Trader Studio or WordPress Pro and so on. Uh, of course, Intel Web Search is a little bit more difficult to configure, uh, whereas uh, the Terminix toolbar comes with uh, uh, searches that are ready to use and uh, whatever you have to set up is, uh, can be done very easily. So that was my quick review of uh, the Terminotix toolbar and quick comparison with uh, IntelliWeb Search. Thank you for watching. Do hit the like button if you found this video useful. Subscribe to my channel for more similar content. And see you in the next video.